Hello， 大家好，我是金杰。今天这一集呢，邀请到一个大来宾来跟我们分享一下他打工度假的经验。那这个 King 先生呢，他是在呃加拿大打工度假，即将满一年。那签证在两天就要到期了，所以在今天晚上即将要回台湾去了。所以他是在去年的十二月二号的时候到加拿大，在 BC 省。那呃，在十一今年的十一月三十要回台湾这样子，所以我们来请他分享一下这一年打工度假的心得，请说。Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is King, A.K.A. 希瑞尔斯利。Seriously? Alright， 你有什么问题想问我的？尽、so、管问。问 So, how do you feel in this year for a year working holiday in Canada? Ah,、uh, 我想今年哈，我伫咧加拿大，我感觉时间过得就紧。OK. 因为我一开始是伫咧冬天来嘛。Yep. 爱当阵来时阵吼，落大雪，寒甲要死。嗯哼。啊，因为我做的工课，我做过诶三诶，拢拢总总差不多是三个工课。嗯哼。其实是伫个 J N G Fried Chicken，、okay. and the second one is in Micha China like an Asian restaurant. Okay. The third one is、uh, Manchu Wok. It's a chain restaurant. It's also a kind of Chinese restaurant in、uh, usually in some mall, or you can see it like a food court.、Mm -hmm. Right. That's、uh, basically my three jobs in this whole year. So, the jobs in what? Ah, the kind of what? The 工工作环环境安怎？哎、欸，我觉得工作的环境来说，基本上我都是在呃华人雇主的的,的工作环境职场工作。那、啊、第一个虽然是呃在福克，呃呃，其实我之前都没有经验，所以就是。嗯呃，工作环境来说的话，我想，呃，你的意思是怎样的环境？嗯、um, ，like how the owner handle the restaurant or um like between you and colleagues or maybe between you and customers. What's the like feelings? I have no idea what. Like what to say about this kind of question? Oh, I think it's because you don't have that kind of experience in Taiwan. Because in Taiwan, you have never worked in the like a restaurant, right? Or yes. Or like a service thing. But I have worked in a pizza restaurant back in Australia. Oh yeah. So how about compare um Canada and Australia when you serve customers or yeah or the atmosphere in the restaurant between. You and colleagues, you and honors, yeah. Ah,、uh, because I was in the, eh, I was in the here food court, ma. Just at the start, the the JNG fried chicken. Yep. Ah,、uh, I was just because that was in the kind of in the very very famous, eh, that kind of fried chicken restaurant. So, eh, that many people are from Hong Kong, ah, Hong Kong people, ah, that kind of Asian people. So I think <coughs> they,、um, they are just like what you can see in Taiwan.、Hmm. But、okay. in Australia, I work in、uh, more like a, uh, it's more like a Western culture kind of food, right? I work in a kebab shop, so we have a lot more foreign、uh, customers and. Uh, you got to speak English way more often,、mm -hmm. and if you work in like uh, uh, like a Chinese restaurant, you basically don't need you don't need to speak any English. You will be able to handle everything. Yes, that's my feeling. So, in Hong Kong, you need to do something. What do you feel? I feel that in Canada, if you don't speak English, you will definitely be able to handle everything. Yes, that's my feeling. 绝对无问题啦！你食食饱穿好，啥物拢无问题。你袂晓讲英语，无人会甲你讲啊，啥物物件，因为你拢会当。我即个店诶，迄种招牌有无？拢是中中文中文字啦，所以你免烦恼。那是可能有迄种咧伫咧
，诶，读册，伊种囝伫咧，你敢若在读册啊？你烦恼讲，你若要来看恁囝，啊，毋知有法度生活无？免烦恼，做你来，你是有法度安尼伫遮来正常生活。OK， so since you have mentioned you have worked in different three restaurant, like、yes. three different jobs, so、yes. um, how about the income level? The income level, I would say. If you look for a more,、uh, like, if your goal is to pursue for like a really high income, I would definitely recommend you to work in,、uh, like a like a independent. I mean, like,、uh, yes, yes. If you can work in Australia, then go for it. But if you happen to be working in Canada, and comparing working in the food court in the mall. You definitely should choose to work in like more like independent restaurant that、mm-hmm. is on the street.、Uh, they、uh, definitely pay you well, and then the tips that you will get will be way higher than the one at the food court because normally people wouldn't pay you tips when when you when they buy something at the food court because that's what how it, it should be a fast food, right? It's it's like you you buy food from McDonald's, you don't expect to pay tips, right? But if you are going into a restaurant and have a seat, and enjoying their food there, you're gonna also、uh, enjoying their service, right? So you will be more likely to get a higher tips and then also a higher hourly pay. Okay. That's my, that's my so okay.、Uh, how about the lifestyle? Come, I like you prefer Taiwan or Canada, or what's the difference between? Yeah, between different con- like、And、these two countries. 那是生活的方式，我我是唔知影台湾的餐厅是安怎啦。啊，不过 No, I mean except the word, except for the word, your life. Oh, you mean like, you mean like, like you mean like the food that I have for breakfast, that kind of stuff, or the lives. Uh, lifestyle、oh, like the speed or environment. Uh, the environment.、Uh, like、leisure. Yeah. You mean like leisure activity? Yeah, yeah, leisure activity. Okay, okay. Basically, uh, if you would like to have more like you know casual or relaxed lifestyle, I think it doesn't really matter. So when it will be better? Um, like if you don't like to live in the in a really severe cold weather, then don't come to Canada. And、uh, in Canada, I guess they they are more like um they are more like a like a. So you just mentioned the downside of like coming to Canada. So what's the advantage? The upside. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the good side. The good side is that、um, uh, even when you work in the restaurant, you can still be、uh, able to afford your rent and also get the you know the enough some pocket money for yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Okay, what question? Because I have seen so many people they discuss the、um, they want to have the gap year, um maybe after they graduate from school or after their first、uh, tiring job, they want to go abroad to do the working holiday when they're still young, but they're thinking、yes. should they choose Australia or、mm-hmm. Canada?、Mm-hmm. So you're the one who have done both of them. Yes, I do. So you can maybe give them some direction to choose or some, yeah, you know, opinions for、mm-hmm. doing working holiday in each country. Ah,、oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a good question. You want me to compare my, like, different countries and what's their like the pros and cons in. Like you know, working in a different country. Yeah,、right? exactly. I would say, um, 
You need some time to think about I it. I think I will say yeah, I need some time. Okay, let's pause the video. Okay, so I think there's one obvious reason that you can take into your consideration, all right? Okay, what's that? If you <laughs> if you don't want to have the long time gap to your friends back in Taiwan, you should definitely consider going to Australia because basically there's no much time differences when you want to like somehow video call your friend, your mom, you miss your mom, right? Or some, sometimes you want to talk to your mom, you can just call it at the daytime and Taiwan will be at the daytime too. So that's one of the most important aspects of why you should work in Australia. Secondly, uh, Australian, I think in Australia, they pay way higher than, uh, than, than Canada. That's so, uh, if your, um, if your target is like, I'm going to just earn like a bunch of money going back home consider going to Australia. It's gonna be more likely to happen in the way that you wish. And the last but not least is that if you want to have more relaxed, more relaxed, like more more relaxed, I mean like I would say Taiwan is probably really not relaxed. Canada is more like here. Australia is like here. Australia is super relaxed. Like those almost feel like all the teenagers on the street they, they you can feel like they are about to retire that's the feeling that you would like that's to. also called laziness 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 yes yes and people just feel like huh? why why do you have to like you know worry Work about so to hard. worry about like what you're gonna do tomorrow just relax bro drink some coffee chill bro just like you know have some fun Nobody really care about what they want to do tomorrow. They don't even know what they are doing tonight. So just enjoying the life. That's okay. It. So from what you say, yes. seems like Australia is the better option for you. Yes, I would say so. Okay. 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 Yeah. Cool. Good to know. All right. That's my. So um, yeah. My thoughts. Thanks for sharing. What would they? In. Early childhood education. That's a there is a saying. Okay. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you can make the decision about where to go. If you don't know, if you still cannot make any decision, you can leave a comment down below. I will then, choose for you. Yeah, and then uh, Jesse will give you some really sincere suggestion. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Safe flights. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye.